Next we're going to talk about is how to simplify rational expressions. So uh, let's see if we can't figure it out. To do this we're actually going to tap into some background knowledge. So 16 twentieths. Hopefully you guys know by now 16 twentieths. Uh, to simplify this we would basically look and divide both the top number and the bottom number excuse me, by the same thing. And you can divide them both by 4. So 4 will go into 16 4 times it will go into 25 times. But really behind it what we do is a little bit different. It's easy when the number, when we have a fraction that just has numbers. Uh, well, let's get into actually what goes on. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime factor these numbers. What prime factorization means, it's the list of the prime numbers that multiply to give me that number. So, 16 uh, is made up of the product of prime numbers 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Uh, 20 is actually going to be 2 times 2 times 5. That's the prime factorization of 20. So what we're going to do is when you simplify a fraction, you are really taking uh, this right here and you're dividing what they have in common on the top and the bottom. So uh, 2 divided by 2, of course, will give us 1. 2 divided by 2, of course, will give us 1. So the numerator is 1 times 1 times 2 times 2, which is 4. And the denominator is 1 times 1 times 5, which will give us 5. So that's the process that we take to actually find our common, our, our simplified fraction. Now some common mistakes, uh, we'll look at these uh, pretty basic right here. Uh, a lot of times, uh, especially my lower level classes, sometimes they get a number, especially the really low kids, uh, 44 over 14, and they'll just cancel these and tell me that's 4 over 1. Well, obviously you guys are not going to do that, uh, so don't make that mistake. However, this one is a lot more common. Uh, what we have here is we have 4 plus 3 over 4 plus 5, and people want to come in here and tell me, well, those will cancel, and then this fraction is equivalent to uh, 3 fifths. Well, that unfortunately is not correct, because as we well know, uh, this is actually going to be 7 ninths. Okay, so you can't cancel parts. The reason that people get confused and try to do this is they look at it and try to apply these rules. The difference between this right here and this right here is these are multiplied together. Anytime you have things that are multiplied together, then you can cancel stuff. If they're added together, you can't cancel parts of binomials. So make sure you don't do that because if you do, you're going to get answers like this, which are going to be wrong because the correct ones are actually answers like this, 7 ninths. So uh, make sure that you factor everything, and then we're going to look and see uh, what the uh, products that we can cancel on the top of the bottom will be.